Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what we're going to be going over is a nice little unique mechanic of slowing down and speeding up time. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So if I were to run around and jump about, you'll see this is what time it's normally like. And if I were to hold down a button, it's going to slow down. You can see the animation is slowing down as well. Everything in the game is now slowed. And if I release that button, it's going to speed back up again and go back to normal. And you can do this any way you like, and at any speed you like. So it can go quicker, it can go slower. You, you can speed time up, slow time down like I am here. Anything you want, this is very easily customizable. And you can add, change, or remove the sound effects as well. As you can hear, I've got in the background on here, like so. So this is what we're going to be going over and creating today. So without further ado, let me do this code. I'm going to show you how I've done it. So this is actually very, very easy to do. So what we're going to do is open up the blueprint in which you want to do this code. Now for me, I'm doing that in the character blueprint as I want it to be when I press a button. But if you want this to be when you walk in through a box trigger, you might do this on a level blueprint. Or if you interact with a blueprint, you might want to do it in that blueprint. Wherever makes most sense for you, open up that blueprint, which again for me is third person blueprints, BP third person character. In here, as I said, I'm doing it on a button press, but again, you can do this on any event which you like. And if you do want any extra help with getting that more specific, feel free to message me on Discord and I will be happy to help you out. So what I'm going to do is right click and get a one keyboard event. As for me, that is going to be perfectly fine. Out of pressed, what we can do is set global time dilation. Zero will mean it's completely paused pretty much. One is normal speed. So if we set it to 0 0.3, that'll be 30% of normal speed. Now when I press one, we're then going to be in the slow motion like this. If I were to set that to 2, we're going to be going twice as fast. So if I press 1, we're now growing twice as fast. And again, this affects everything in game. So, you, so if you have AI, they'll be also be affected by this too. Now obviously that's only going to slow down or speed up, but we want to put it back to normal. So we can duplicate this, put it on released, and set it to 1, as again, 1 is normal speed. So if I hold 1 now, we're going to go to 30%, and if I let go, we're going to go back to normal speed. So here we have it, so we can slow down, and go back to normal. However, this is immediate. So what if we want to make it so it's nice and smooth? So it's gonna smoothly go down and smoothly go back up. Well, that's very simple as well. Let's delete both of these. And out of press, we're going to add timeline. I'm just gonna simply name this time machine, for example, as that's what this is doing. And then that pressed, we're going to play. Released, we're going to reverse. Or essentially what you had before slowing down or speeding up, we're going to play. What you had going back to normal, we're going to reverse. We'll double click this time machine to open it up, add in a track and add a float track. I'm gonna name this one time track like so. We're gonna set the length to be the duration of the transition you want. So for me, I'm gonna set it to 0.5 or half a second, as I want it to take half a second to go from normal speed to slow down or to my new speed. So let's right click, add key to curve float with a time of zero and a value of whatever you want your starting to be. So for me, one, as I want to go from normal to slow down. And then we'll right click, add key to curve float with a time of your length. So for me, 0 0.5, and a value of the speed you want to go to. So for me, that's gonna be 0 0.3. But for you, this might be 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 2, whatever it is, just set that value there. Then we're gonna right click on both of these and set the key interpolation to auto. Again, do that on both of them. And that will just give us a more nice, smooth transition, as you can see here. I'm going to zoom to fit horizontal and vertical, and this is basically a graph of our speed dilation that we have here, of our time dilation that we have here. So let's go back to the event graph, and now you see we have this time track here. We'll drag out of update of our timeline and set global time dilation once again, and we'll get that there. And we can just input time track into time dilation there. So it's pretty much doing the same thing we just did, except it's going to be smoothly going from the value of 1 to 0.3. And then when we reverse, it'll go from 0.3 to 1. And because we've got in play and reverse, instead of play from start, reverse from end, this will be nice and smooth. So if you don't finish the track, it will still go back from where it is, so it will look nice and smooth. So now if we hit play, we hold 1, we see that it's now nice and smoothly going down. And if we release 1, it's smoothly going back again. So it's not just a sudden, sharp and harsh transition from going from normal speed to slow down, slow down to normal speed. We have a nice transition and it's smoothly interpolating between the two values as you can see here. I also want to do one final thing on here just to make it look that much better, and that's just to add some sound effects on here. So as you can see, I've already imported two sound effects here for slow down. 
and speed up. And I'll leave a link in the description down below to the video where I got these from. What we can simply do is back into our blueprint here, off of pressed, we're going to play sound 2D. And I'll move this over. And then we'll also get that for released as well. So we're doing play sound 2D on pressed and released of our event here, connecting those into play and reverse on the timeline as we had them before. Pressed is going to be slowing down, so I'm going to set that to be my slow down time sound effect and released will be speeding up, so I'll set that to be my speed up time sound effect. Now if we hit play once again, this will be the final product which I want. So as you saw and heard there, we're slowing down time with a sound effect and a smooth transition and it's speeding it back up to normal again, as you can see perfectly here. And if you were doing it the other way around, so you're speeding up, so you're going to two times speed instead of 0.3, you could just change these rounds to your speeding up and slowing down like so, but you might want to get a different sound effect as that might not work perfectly for you. But again, for me, this is perfect for what I want. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is set up a time dilation so we can speed up or slow down the time in game. And this will affect everything in the game as well. And we've got it to be nice and smooth and we've got sound effects as well so this is working perfectly for what we want in our game so thanks so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you found it helpful and if you did please do make sure to like and subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one